Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jason from Micro Sounding Supply, and today we're going to be going over the new ZXW 3.0 update. Now this version of ZXW is particularly awesome because it actually gets rid of the need to have the physical USB dongle plugged into your computer in order to run the ZXW software. Now it's all based off a digital subscription which is attached to your ZXW account and in order, and in order to get access to the ZXW software all you got to do now is just log into your account on that computer. This is particularly awesome because say for example you've got a few um, shops each with a micro starting station that you work out of and on day one you're going over to uh, shop A to do some work. You finish up your day, you're using the ZXW software there and you finish up your day and you go home and the next day you go over to shop B and you sit down in the station and you realize that you left your USB dongle at shop A. Now you're in trouble because you can't get access to any of the ZXW software um, and read any of the board views or schematics to get any work done. And this is not really an ideal situation. Now, with ZXW 3.0 software, all you gotta do to get access to the schematics and board views is just log into your ZXW account on that computer and you can get a, and you can run the software just as you could with the dongle plugged in. You get all the same access to the schematics and board views, all without having the need to have a dongle plugged into your computer. You can do this on up to, I think it's uh, 15 computers, although you can only be logged into one computer at a time, but that's still a huge improvement in my opinion over the old system where you would have to have the dongle plugged in all the time. So, now that we've gone over that, I'm going to show you how to get a ZXW account and start working with the ZXW 3.0 software. So what you're going to do first is you're going to go ahead and download the ZXW 3.0 software. And we're going to do that by going over to zxwtools.com. And I'll put all these links in the description as well. And you're going to click up here, um, looking for this symbol here, which indicates download. And you can just download it from this link here, ZXW 3.0. Go ahead and click that. And I'm already downloaded this, so I'm going to cancel it. And I've got it here, so I'm going to go ahead and extract this to my desktop. And that's going to give us the ZXW software. And when I run the software, this is what I see the first time I run the software. And here it's asking me for my ZXW account. Now, I don't have a ZXW account yet, so I'm going to go ahead and make one. And to do that, I'm going to go up to this website here, and t.zxwsoft.com slash user slash fastreg.aspx. And here I'm going to go ahead and make a ZXW account. And if you can't read Chinese, there's an option for English up here, so just go ahead and click that. And Go ahead and just type in your account name, your email, give it a password, and uh, put in the verification code here. Now I've already made a ZXW account, so I'm not going to make it again. Um, instead I'm going to go over to login and put in my account info, copy this. Okay. And when you make your ZXW account for the first time, you're going to see that you've got no um, subscription attached, no date of expiration, no um, in serial number, etc., etc. Now, if this is the first time you're running the ZXW 3.0 software, but you've got a dongle with an active subscription on it from previously, you're going to need to attach the dongle to your ZXW account. Now in order to do that, what we're going to do is run the ZXW software, and I'm going to go ahead and before I do that, I'm going to change the language to English, which you can do by going over wrong file, going over the conf.ini file in the ZXW folder, clicking edit, and changing lang equals to zero. Save that, close it, and now run the software. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my username and password here, click login, and we're going to go over to 
binding encryption dongle. Now what you're going to do is say, okay, are you sure you want to bind this encryption dongle? You're just going to go ahead and click yes. It's going to tell you it's a success. And now when we go over to the ZXW account and if we hit refresh, let me just log out and log back in again. Here we go. You can see now that I've got my dongle attached. It's a success. I've got my expiration date from my dongle uh, all the way in October. So it's transferred my subscription over to this new, new ZXW 3.0 subscription. And now to run the ZXW software, I don't need to have a dongle plugged in. So for example, if I close the software and I unplug the dongle, see if you can hear this. I don't know if you can hear that, but I just unplug the dongle and now I go over to the ZXW 3.0 software and try to run it. Now, just gotta hit login and I've got all the same access to all the schematics as I would with the dongle plugged in. So this is freaking awesome if you ask me. So uh, as I can now run the ZXW software from any computer that I'm at as long as it's uh, got the ZXW 3.0 version installed on it. Now, for those of you who want to get access to the ZXW 3.0 software but don't have a dongle with, the, with an active subscription on it or any dongle at all, what you can do is purchase a digital subscription from our website. So you go to our website, microsoundingsupply.com, and you type in ZXW, and you search here for the ZXW 3.0 instant digital subscription. And what you're gonna do is add this to your cart and complete the checkout process, and you'll be emailed along with your order confirmation, uh, something that looks like this. This is a digital subscription and it has a serial number and password that you're going to put into your ZXW account. And so to do that, you're going to go over to your ZXW account and you're going to select authorization code renewal. And here you're going to copy in your serial number. Um, 1E6307. Put in the password that's on the uh, in the photo. Put the verification code in, and just click on uh, immediate use, and that'll connect your subscription that you purchased to your ZXW account. And now you can use the ZXW 3.0 software, same as you could, um, all the same access, just by logging into the software. So. This process is also going to be the same if you're going to be renewing your uh, subscription that expired. You're just going to go over to authorization code renewal, put in your information, click immediate use, and you should see your date of expiration uh, jump up as well. So that's the new ZXW 3.0 software. Uh, I hope this helped you guys out. And let me know if you have any questions or com uh, comments in the comment section below. And uh, thanks for watching.